The fourth area of systemization within your business is systems and technology. And a, a couple of areas that I want to focus on. Again, there are a host of, uh, of um, suggestions, strategies um, that you can put into place if you, you pick up the book, which I showed you earlier, Instant Systems. Um, the first one I want to talk about really is, is creating your organizational, your business manual. Uh, and, and when you create the manual, actually what you're going to go down the avenue is creating the systems, breaking down each of the, the, the processes, each of the tasks um, that, that you and your team do and undertake. And you can do that pictorially, you can do that in a flowchart sequence uh, with written descriptions. But the notion here is to ensure that you create uh, um, something that is a, a source and point of reference for any of your team and indeed for new, new members. Um, all too often you probably find that without those systems in place what happens is that, that the course of least resistance is to come to you. They come to you, your team members come to you, new employees come to you and it is down to you to um, actually put into place to train and educate on an intimate detailed basis exactly what goes on. Then you start that, that process of, you know, the course of least resistance is, guess what, I'm coming back to have that conversation with you again. So actually creating your manual. So as you're putting together all of those different systems, put together the, 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 the organizational manual of how it all works uh, and, and then catering for, you know, the, 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 the various learning styles, having written dialogue, having diagrams, flowcharts, pictures, etc., etc. So that's the first area I'll talk about in terms of the systems and technology. Technology-wise, uh, well, nowadays you'll find that there are bespoke systems, IT systems and software packages for pretty much any business you're in. Take, for instance, accounting. You've got Sage and any number of variations on Sage out there. You've got CRM, so customer relationship management systems. Uh, and you've got those in terms of there are, uh, you know, such systems such as Infusionsoft. Um, MailChimp, for instance. MailChimp is a, a free system online that you can use uh, up to, uh, I think, a maximum of around about 2,000 contacts. Um, I use a system, and we in Action Coach use a system called SoFront. So these are, 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 are systems that are, you know, driven by technology to uh, manage those relationships that we're building with uh, our prospects, the leads and generating leads, and indeed um, as the, uh, uh, they, they, the prospects become clients. So there's another area. Um, having automated um, stock control. So now you can use barcode technology uh, um, to you know, monitor and control um, what stock it is you're holding, automate when new stock is required. Uh, and indeed, these systems can go down to real fine detail where you can create lean management. So that you know, you're, you're automatically you know, uh, submitting orders to your suppliers at the point that you need them. Um, you know, the, the notion of just in time rather than just in case. It means that it limits the amount that you've got sat on your shelves uh, of, of profit. Um, so that maximize the available cash that is available to you in the business. Um, uh, managing uh, your people and having automated HR systems where your, your people can go on, um, register their, um, their, their reports, um, upload uh, information for you. So having automated systems uh, for your HR requirements. And once you start to look into the, the, the levels of technology that, that, that is available, suddenly you can start to really refine some of the uh, systems that are maybe manual at the moment. So, uh, you know, we, we talked about utilizing barcodes. We, we can talk about stock control. We can talk about inventory uh, and control in terms of, um, you know, some of the, the big warehouses. And indeed, you know, not necessarily big warehouses is a work just as well in a, a, a small uh, to medium sized business. So systems and technology is a real way forward. Um, I want to talk on the, the probably, you know, in the next couple of days with regards to creating systems so, so it's all very well discussing how the systems uh, uh, and what you can utilize to um, systemize but actually how do you start to define what the system needs to look like 
to support your business. So um, I'll bid you a farewell. It's uh, quite a nice day today. It has been a little bit overcast, but generally speaking, we are enjoying some nice summer weather. Uh, I'm off now to uh, a networking event uh, up in Exeter. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.